How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make professional YouTube intro videos using an easy to use online tool. Here are some examples of intros, as you can see, super professional. So let's get into it. The software I'm going to be using to do this is called InVideo. It's a browser based online video editor, so no need to download any software and it has hundreds of pre-built templates made by pro animators. So you don't necessarily need to make one from scratch, although you can if you wanted to. Simply find one you like and then customize it how you want. I'll be doing that in this video. InVideo does have a free version, but to get the best templates, I'll be using one of their premium accounts. This way I get access to over 4,500 video templates and over 1 million premium stock videos and photos. Plus I get 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. You can either pay monthly or yearly. If you go with the yearly package, you get six months off. However, if you only need one intro, I suggest you sign up for one month, download what you need, and then cancel. This makes sense if you only need one intro because you're only gonna change the intro once every few years. I make a lot of YouTube videos on this channel, plus I have other channels, so I have a business subscription and dip into it when I need it. If you're serious about your channel, then this is definitely an affordable solution. If you want to sign up, I'll put a link in the description with a 25% discount code so you can save some money. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this useful and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. So let's get into it and create a video intro. Firstly, head over to invideo.io and set up an account. The first thing you want to do after you sign up is hover over the profile icon and click brand presets. Then add in your brand name, your brand logo and brand colors. This is super useful and will come in handy later on because InVideo will automatically add these to your chosen template, thus saving you some time. So let's find a decent template. Head back to the home page and hover over categories. Then click on brand intro slash outro. As you can see, there are 167 templates to choose from. Just make sure you click 16 by 9 wide here. If you hover over them, you can see a preview of what they look like. I'm just going to have a quick scan and probably choose this meteoric logo reveal because it looks cool and it's a simple one to edit for this tutorial. Click use this template and it will load up with your logo and other brand presets that we set up earlier. Here we are. This is the editing interface. The playhead here shows the frame in the scene you are looking at. You can scrub along the length of the timeline to move along to a different time within that video. I'll just move the playhead to the start and then click on the play button to see what the video looks like and see what we're working with. If you've used the video editor before, this will all be familiar to you. In the preview window, you can see the logo is already added. You can double click on it and resize it to your preference. You can then reposition it where you want. There are helpful grid lines to help you display it perfectly in the middle. All of the elements on the window can be clicked on and edited. Once you have selected an element, they will be highlighted in the layers tab on the right hand side here. The logo is actually covering the URL so I can't select it, but I can also select it in the layers tab. Not this one, this one. Now that it's selected, the editing options for this element will appear above the preview window. If I click on text, I can now edit it on the left. Let me do some quick typing that secretly sped up and then click save. Same with the logo. Once selected, the editing options for that element will appear. I can upload a new logo, animate it, add filters or a blur. So for example, if we click on animate, we can now choose a new animation for the logo. 
I'll just choose fade in. Then click play scene from the start to see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good to me. At the bottom of the editor, we can see the timeline with two tracks on it at the moment. The main scene on the top and the music on the bottom. We can change the music by clicking the music tab on the left hand side. Find a song from the numerous categories and then click the three dots and select replace music. Now, if you hover over the music track, you can click edit to adjust the volume, the fade and you can trim it. If you wanted to see a more detailed breakdown of all the layers in the main scene, just click this timeline button. Now you'll get a detailed view of all the layers and you can adjust the timings they appear in the video by clicking and dragging the position or trimming it with the handles on the ends of each element. One thing to note is that the music can only be as long as the length of the scene, so it will cut off automatically. Bear that in mind when you're choosing a portion of the song to add into your video. You can of course add more scenes by clicking this add scene button. I'll just add a blank scene. The scene you selected will get added after your currently selected scene. Would you like to proceed? Just click yes to that. And now we have another scene. As you can see, it comes with its own text and logo in the top right. I'm going to edit the text to include my slogan and delete the logo in the top right. Let me just preview that to see what that looks like. Okay, so the new scene slides in from the left. I don't like that so what I'll do is I'll change the transition by clicking the transition button between the two scenes. Now I can choose a new transition. I just want it to fade in so I'll scroll to the top and click on fade. You can already see how powerful InVideo is because they have a huge amount of transitions to choose from. You can preview these in your own, in your own time. What I'll do is I'll just preview this again. Okay, that looks slightly better. It may need tweaking, but you can play around with it. If I was actually using this logo for myself, I wouldn't add an extra page onto the end of it. I'm just showing you how it is possible for you to add extra scenes and add content onto the end if you wanted to. Another thing I want to show you is how to add a video. Click on the video tab on the left search for a video from the wide range of premium stock videos and then click and drag it onto the scene. A message will come up saying drop to add as a layer. Now you have the option to trim the start and end time of the video and by clicking and dragging you can choose the selection of the video you want to use. This is just an example but uh, let's see what this looks like. I'll just move the playhead near the start and press play. Okay, that looks decent to me. You can also animate the videos as you can with logos and text. Just select the scene with your media in it and click on the media element in the layers tab on the right hand side. The editing options for that specific media will again appear in the top. You can then choose to animate the video in or out. I like it fading in so I'll choose that then select the animation duration. One and a half seconds seems fine to me. Now you can play the scene and the video will fade in along with the text. You should now have enough information to edit any of the templates on offer including ones with stock videos in them. So I've shown you how to add a logo, how to edit text, how to add background music, how to edit videos, how to add transitions 
and how to animate different elements on your video. Check out my previous video for a more detailed tutorial on how to use in video. Once you're happy with the final version, click download and share and it will render your video ready for download. You can then add it to your project in your video editor of choice if you use a different one to in video. I personally use Camtasia, so I just import the intro into Camtasia and finish the rest of the video editing there. So there you go. Hope you found this video useful. If you want to sign up to InVideo and use any of the premium templates, I have a discount code in the description. Feel free to make use of that. I'll be making more videos on content creation and video editing, so stay tuned and feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.